Hi, welcome to Tech Tips and Tech Stuff. My name is Ron, and today we're going to be installing or cloning uh, an old Dell computer. This is must be about 17 years old, running XP Service Pack 3. It has an um, IDE hard drive. And this is the IDE hard drive. Oops. Yeah. Focus on that. And that's where the SATA looks drive. So they can be completely different interfaces. So the only way to do this, we had to go to Amazon. And I picked up this, this board this, with an uh, IDE connector. And I also picked up a solid state drive. Check this out. A solid state drive. This one is, um, 60, a 60 gigabyte solid state drive. So I'm not going to bore you with the cloning process. I'm putting this uh, hard drive back in the computer. This back in the computer. I did find, I went through all my cables and I found uh, an old cables to go. Uh, it has IDE for 3.5 and 2.5 drives. And it's USB 2. So we're going to do our cloning uh, using Acronis True Image. And it should take probably with USB 2, I'm guessing about an hour. So, we'll be right back. Okay, so here's a solid state drive. So let's insert the solid state drive in the. Oops. We want a static bracelet, but I'm going to screw these down here, back in the mat. We start screwing these in. I'm using tools, <coughs> excuse me, made by Wea. We have the best tools out there for working on electronics. One more. Almost done. Okay, so here's a solid state drive installed. And it's a uh, PC board. Where was it called? Yes. Now we have to install this in the case and screw it all down. So basically, you put it in this way and then screwing this all into place. I'm not going to bother with that. So there's not much to that. See you in a bit. Having a problem with picking up these screws. I need a real small, real small screwdriver. So and the problem is it's not magnetic. So I have a magnet here. Just turn it into a quick magnet. So tip. Man, these screws are small. I've never seen screws before this small. I'm not going to bore you with this. Just screwing a bunch of screws into the caddy. Okay, so I have the Acronis True is running right now. You can select a uh, destination drive. Then it's going to be this one right here. Next. You see. See when you're back. Alright, so I'm going to just turn the computer off. We're going to unplug everything. Okay, I'll put the power first. There's no battery in this. If there was a battery, you have to move the battery too. Or the battery have to be in the cleaning process. So I'm putting all this stuff in the USBs. So we'll fly here. Oh, 
Put this on. You just drive. You drive out. Clean your screws up. What I'm going to do is swap these. Uh, this one has been cloned. This one has been cloned. So I'm going to swap these out. I'm not going to bore you with the uh, details of swapping them. It's pretty straightforward. It's been cloned. I just need the, uh, the cover so you can install this in the computer. So I'll see you in a bit. Alright, the other hard drive is in the carrier. It's in place now. So we're just gonna put this in. That's why. Almost done. Moment of truth, we booting up. Let's see if this uh, clone actually works or I'm getting errors. This machine, we're not really doing anything with it. It's uh, trying something out, that's all. Alright, so we're up. Moment of truth is here. Power on, let's see what happens. So now this is lightning fast using an SSD on I think it's a 17 years old this computer. 17 year old year old laptop running an IED hard drive upgraded to a solid state IED drive. There it is, it works. Guys, we create uh, tech content on this channel. If you found this video helpful in any way, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and as always, thank you for watching. Thanks, patrons. A special shout out to Ron's best friend, Benjamin R. Price. You can be here too. Link below.